Hey guys, welcome to Divine Conversations and welcome to your readings for August 2019. Thank you so much for tuning in. I want to make a big old shout out to the Leos out there. Happy, happy birthday to you. We are in Leo season right now. And I want to make a big old shout out to the August Virgos out there. Yeah, happy birthday to you guys as well. So I am back to my old format. Um, I have one central intro that I have recorded for everybody that everybody's going to see the same old thing and then we'll get into the reading yes so you will find a timestamp in the comments section that's pinned at the very top that will take you to the beginning of the actual reading so if you're watching multiple videos and you don't want to watch the intro over and over again you can use that timestamp I do recommend that you watch it at least once just so that you can get the general information may clear up some questions you may have yeah so I would love it if you guys would connect with me on social media. You can find the links to my, my social media accounts, both Instagram and Facebook, in the description box below. But Instagram is at divine underscore conversations. And Facebook is facebook.com slash divine conversations 2711. Yes, which is very similar to my actual email address. All right. These are a general reading. So please take what resonates and leave what doesn't. If you'd like to look into your own personal situation, please don't hesitate to email me. All of the information is in the description box below, including the readings that I offer. So just read through that and then hit me up. Let me know which reading you would like. If you can't decide if, or if you have trouble, go ahead and email me anyway and describe the situation a little bit and I will absolutely help you choose. Yeah. If you would like to get a, a personal reading, um, I do recommend that you reach out either via email or at the very least through Instagram. Um, I don't recommend that you send me a message on Facebook because I do not always get those right away. I, I've noticed that I, oh, first of all, I don't get a notification from Facebook saying that I have um, messages on that page. Um, so often when I find them, it's like, maybe sometimes days later. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, so for those of you that kind of missed out or got lost or something, I apologize for that. But Facebook isn't the best way to reach out to me. You can reach out on Instagram. I do get those notifications and I do see that. I, I do check that more often. But ultimately, I'm really just going to send you to email. All right. So you might as well just, you know, cut the extra steps and just email me. Okay. Because that's really where I handle all of the personal readings. Keep in mind that time is an illusion and energies are fluid. So yes, this is a message coming through that's dated for August of 2019, but it does not have to resonate now. We could be talking about a situation that happened months prior, or we could talk about something that could be coming on months in advance. I do recommend that maybe you check in maybe at the, at the end of the month if you are catching this towards the beginning of the month to see if it resonates for you. But either way, or to see how it resonates for you, but either way, whenever you watch the video and it resonates at that time, then that is the message for you at that time, regardless of the date. Also, keep in mind that for the cross watchers out there, I am speaking directly to the zodiac sign in question, okay? But if you're watching the reading and it's resonating for you, then take that message. Okay. So what I may be saying for the Zodiac sign in question, let's say Aries or Leo, and you don't have that placement or you're not looking at it because you have Aries or Leo in your chart. And yet what I'm saying is resonating for you. Then maybe that message is in fact for the cross watcher and not the actual Zodiac sign in question. Again, it's a general reading. Take it as it resonates, but also please do not try to fit something into your life or into the, the situation that doesn't fit already. Like if you're watching and you're saying to yourself, Hmm, he's saying this, but that really doesn't resonate with my situation. Then let it go. Don't take it. Okay. Cause that means it's just not a message for you again general reading yeah okay um i guess that's it so with that said why don't we get started to, with the reading yeah <laughs> hey my sagamatazical sagamataz oh what was the other one we came up with last month gosh i can't remember now but welcome to your reading for august 2019 don't mind me sag my face is dry so as i'm talking to you i'm gonna be putting lotion on my face yay all right um so, all right, Sag, guys, keep in mind that this is a general reading, so please take what resonates and leave what doesn't, okay? I feel like I need to reiterate that um, because of your pre-shuffle energies, okay? Let's talk about, oh, sorry, guys, I really had to put lotion on my face. Okay, let's talk about this. Um, I was shuffling your cards, and I have to say, I, uh, for 
the time that I've done this, yeah, I've been doing these, I've had this channel for like a year and a half now, all right? And Sag, you guys have always been upbeat and happy, joyful, regardless of what's going on, all right? But this month, some shit is going down and it's super emotional. The first card that came out is the Six of Cups. And as soon as that card came out, I heard memories and I started thinking of that song from Cats. Um, yeah. Memory, it's so easy to leave me. That kind of, that, that kind of vibe, right? Ooh, okay, and I was like, oh God, oh God. And I had to, and, and I started singing it and I was like, wait a second, is that even the right song? And I looked it up, sure enough. I mean, I did a Google search. All I said was, okay, Google, uh, memories, by, uh, memories, the song. And that literally, that was the first song that came up, that song from Cats. If you don't know that song, it's called Memories, check it out. Um, and then I was like, ooh, okay, that's heavy. And then none other than the Queen of Cups came right out after that. I was like, oh, oh, honey, oh, what's going on? And sure enough, after that, you're followed by the Four of Cups. Ooh, okay. But here's the thing. The catch here. At the very end of that song, it changed. Uh, the, 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 uh, the, 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 the feeling changes. One of the last phrases in that song is, look, a new day has begun. So something is coming. Something is coming, Sag. Looky here, because underneath the deck is the Empress. Now, if you are the feminine energy here and you're dealing with some sort of loss, some sort of heartbreak, you know there is a soulmate, a deep, strong bond that you had with someone or you have with someone and yet it's a missed opportunity or it's unrequited love or just something went wrong here. It didn't quite pan out the way you had hoped. I kind of wanted to say the way it was supposed to, but nah, I, I don't know about that. But the way you had hoped is a much better way of saying it. Keep in mind that you are universally abundant. You are a child of the universe, meaning that look, honey, basically let me let me let me let me boil it down for you. There are plenty of fish in the sea is basically what this Empress energy is saying, okay? All right, I'm gonna stop there. <laughs> Let's see if we can get something better for you, Sag. Oh, I don't like my Saggies being sad. No sad, no, no, <laughs> no soggy Sagittarius around here, okay? I'm, not, I'm just not having it, just not having it. <laughs> now, this could be, it could, even potentially be a loss of a family member. Um, there could be what you're dealing with, with the Six of Cups and memories. Okay, memories was the first thing that came out. Um, you might be dealing with the past. You might be trying to heal from the past. You might be in a situation where you can't hide from your emotions anymore, Sagittarius. You need to face them. You need to face the music. You need to face the disappointment. You need to face the grief, the, the abandonment issues, if that's what you're dealing with. Um, some of this really could be from childhood. This doesn't necessarily have to be a romantic partnership or a soulmate bond or something like that. This really just could be past circumstances that are coming up to the surface that are making you really super emotional. Don't hide from them, Sag, all right? Don't hide from, the, from, that, from them at all. That song, Memories, is very, very specific and is actually, I don't remember, I, I didn't take the time to go through the whole song, but the individual, the character that sings it is an old cat, you know, she's, she's, she's got mange, I mean, she's basically rejected by the rest of the cats in, well, basically in the show, but in the community, um, you know, she's, she's not, definitely not a spring chicken any longer, you know what I mean? She's and she just she just wants to be loved she just wants to feel important again she wants to feel like a worthy being again you know and she's just the community around her has just completely rejected her i'm not saying that you have a community around you that has completely rejected you take it where as it resonates but if you're resonating with this part of the message you might want to go listen to that song okay all right, I'm gonna give this one more shuffle and then we're gonna get started for you, Saggies. My Sagimatazicals. That, that's what it was, Sagimatazical. Sagimataz, I don't know, whatever. <laughs> All right, guys, here we go. There it is, All right. 
Hi, Spirit. Please make me a clear channel for Sagittarius at this time, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Please bring forward the best messages to serve the highest good of all involved for the month of August 2019. Thank you so much, Spirit. Yeah, the theme for this month or the message for this month, even if it doesn't apply to this month, Sag, okay? The message here is about heart healing, okay? You got to get back to your heart and you got to clean that shit out, all right? For some of you, you've really been harboring some things for a long, long time. Maybe even trying to medicate them or mask them. Giving this five shuffles, so that's one. Hide them away or something like that, but you can't really do that any longer. You gotta face it. You gotta, you gotta look. I'm literally seeing someone, like literally, re, like picking up the the rug and starting to deal with all the shit they've been sweeping up under it <laughs> for so long. Yes, decades even. Shuffle number three for massage and metazicals, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. For the month of August. Ah, here we go, Sag. That's. Was that four? And this is five. Okay. Well, if it's not and I miscounted, whatever. This is the last shuffle, but I think this is five. Whatever. It really doesn't matter. Here we go. We're ready, Sag. <laughs> uh, my goal. If any of you guys are dealing with this poopy energy, my goal is to make you laugh. So if you're laughing, excellent. <laughs> okay, here we go. Overall energy, good God, Sag. The Six of Cups again. Woo! Okay. But I mean, we've already gone over what this means, but I re I'm really getting a very strong sense, Sag, that you are now really starting to face the path, past. Ooh, I just said face the path. So maybe the things that you've been hiding yourself from or hiding from yourself are part of your path and you can't, part of things you needed to experience on your path in this incarnation and you can't move forward on your path until you deal with the past. Mm. Underneath the Six of Cups, you've got the world. Yes, Sag, closing it out. Bringing the cycles or the cycle it might be multiple, it might be one, it doesn't matter. I take it as it resonates, but bringing it to a close. Underneath the world, you've got the emperor taking your motherfucking power back. I know that's right. <laughs> uh, learning to be the master of your domain. For some of you, this might be family or friends or circumstances from the past that left you feeling, feeling powerless. But through this, you're gaining, you're regaining your power here, okay? Underneath the emperor, you have the five of wands. Well, conflict, differing of opinion, sure. Specifically, if you're dealing with situations from your childhood, you might be stuck in some sort of like resentful energy, maybe, um, or just like differing of opinion between like your parents' parenting style and, and, and... Okay, sorry about that. Um, I did turn my mic on <laughs> because I turned it off by accident as I was shifting. Um, but I wanted to make sure that it actually started re-recording again and that I didn't lose sound. But whatever, we're good. So here we are. But I was saying you might be in a position where, you know, you, you're not really in agreement with how things were handled, whether this is your parents and their parenting style or whatever you experienced, there's inner conflict um, with this five of wands. I'm also kind of feeling like there's some conflict around leaving the past behind you. Cause I kind of feel like for some of you in you leaving the past behind and you like closing these cycles out, you might be completely leaving some people, some circumstances, some places uh, behind you kind of with an energy of never to return again. Not necessarily that because, you know, you're completely cutting them out and whatnot, whatever, but just because you're moving on with your life. That's the biggest thing I'm getting from this Five of Wands, and that is really interesting. It's like you need to close this out. You need to end these cycles. I heard for some of you, you need to, to, to deal with or come to terms with some sort of narcissistic abuse or tendencies, and yet you're conflicted about it. Huh. 
Go figure. <laughs> All right. Well, let's get into the rest of your reading here and see what we've got for you. First half, second half of the reading. You can look at it as first half, second half of your month, or you could look at it as first half, second half of your reading, whichever resonates best with you. Just keep in mind, time is an illusion and energies are fluid. Yes. First set of surrounding energies for you, Sag. We have temperance. Here you are. This is your card. Okay. Oh, also, you could be dealing with an Aries or another fixed uh, or a fixed sign, Taurus, uh, ver, uh, I'm sorry, Taurus, Leo, Scorpio, or Aquarius. But also, here you are, Sagittarius. You might be dealing with another Sagittarian, but well, I'm talking to you, Sag, right now, okay? There is an alchemical process that's happening here. Now, part of what this Five of Wands energy might be, which actually this is kind of your energy too, in a way, I kind of feel like. Um, but part of this Five of Wands energy is you being conflicted about how to come to terms with some of the things that you've experienced here. It's like you have opposing sides to you that aren't necessarily in agreement, um, And it doesn't feel too destructive, but this is that period of time in which you're bringing that, you're bringing those sides together or you're alchemizing this you're taking whatever experiences that you've had and you're alchemizing them to create a new you maybe even a new existence for yourself but keep in mind that this takes time it takes patience and perseverance it's not something that's going to happen overnight sag okay temperance is coupled with the king of cups you could be dealing with a water sign cancer pisces scorpio maybe a scorpio specifically but sag the biggest thing that I'm getting for you here is that you are learning or in the process of becoming emotionally mature. Or if you're already in a, in a pretty good sense of emotional maturity, that sense, that, 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 that same emotional maturity is now deepening hardening, fortifying. And I don't mean hardening in the sense that you're, you know, you're, you're becoming an icy. No, Hardening in the sense where it's becoming more solidified, more stable, more solid, more grounded, if that makes sense. I'm hearing standing up for yourself, learning to stand up for yourself, but also learning to take responsibility for yourself, for your actions, and for where you find yourself. That doesn't mean that, doesn't mean that given any circumstance that you are completely to blame for what happened in your life, especially if what you're dealing with is something from childhood. Obviously, you're not totally to blame for that. You were a kid, okay? But also, it's the emotional maturity to, to say, okay, well, I recognize that I chose that for a reason, and I recognize the lessons in that, and I recognize the fact that so-and-so, whether that be my mother or father or my sister, brother, my cousins, my aunt, my uncle, what, whomever, my friends, my colleagues, my teachers, whatever, um, you know, they were going through their own, th own things too. So I'm not going to continue to hold a grudge. I'm not going to continue to be resentful or anything. I'm just going to let it go. Heal from it, learn from it, wash myself clean of it, and move forward with my life. Beautiful, Sag. Second set of surrounding energies for you, Sag. You have, yeah, there you go. Moving on with your life, the Six of Swords, leaving the past behind you, letting bygones be bygones, moving away from rough waters to calmer waters. This, again, is internal because these things have been running amok in your mind, have been creating havoc for you. But it's time you let them go. It's time you face them, you feel them, so you can clear them and move forward, okay? Six of Swords is coupled with, oh, ho, ho, ho. first of all, here's the Queen of Cups again, but look at that. You've got the King and the Queen of Cups. So this is, with Temperance, this is allowing you to become much more emotionally stable or emotionally mature, all right? With the Six of Swords, this is allowing you to move away from the resentment, to move away from the emotional volatility to leave the past behind you so that it's no longer having such an emotional effect on you or such an effect on your emotions, if that makes sense, okay? That is so awesome, Sag. Your challenge in the first half of your reading here. Yeah, the hermit, Virgo energy. Um, the soul searching. 
But this feels specifically about not placing blame, recognizing the sh inner struggles we all have by doing your own inner work and finding out, oh, wow, I actually, I'm not that much different from so-and-so who did X, Y, and Z. Holy shit. I can take responsibility for that, at least for some of part of it. Oof. Or for some of you, you're saying, I can't take responsibility for that because that's on them. But I still understand why it may have happened because I recognize their struggle in mine or I recognize my struggle in theirs. Excellent. But that's your challenge, Sag. It ain't gonna be easy, honey. But it's worth it, I promise. The hermit is coupled with Ah, the two of cups. Yes, bringing the masculine and the feminine into balance. Inner self-union. Boop. Look at that shit. Can I get an amen? Okay. <laughs> That's beautiful, Sag. This soul searching, this work that you're going to be doing here is really going to help you bring that masculine and feminine into balance. And it's so crazy. I really want to feel like I want to express this, but I have been focusing on my channel. I've been focusing on that inner union, that balance between masculine and feminine for a long time now, for about a year now. And I'm starting to see the evidence in the subscribers, in, the, in, in you guys, that that balance is happening. I just did the reading for Scorpio. And they had the balance too. It was in the King and the Queen of Wands. You, Sag, are in the King and the Queen of Cups. I mean, shit, y'all. <laughs> Good on ya. All right, I see you. Closing message or potential outcome in the first half of your reading here, Sag. You've got the moon, okay? Dark Knight of the Soul. Yes, indeed. Yes, indeed. Fear, illusion. Also, though, cycles. Cycles coming to a close. Things being illuminated, things that may have been hidden from you or things you may have been hiding from you, from yourself for a long time, coming up to the surface. There also could be some sort of, I'm hearing there could be, for some of you, there could be some sort of family drama or family secrets that are coming out or that may have already came out that have kind of catalyzed this uprising in a sense. The moon is coupled with the two of swords. All right, yes, so, okay, good. Now, this is okay. Because first of all, yes, you might be indecisive or you, may, you just may not know how to handle this, how to move. Um, there is, I think there is an overwhelming, there's a sense of, of, of overwhelming emotion that's keeping you from really being able to move. And that's kind of what I was getting with the Queen of Cups that came out in the beginning of the reading. But that's okay. What I, I'm getting, Spirit's getting me, giving me the analogy of just let the tide recede. It's almost as if the tides have come in, you know what I mean? And you, you feel like you're drowning in your emotions. You can't really get, keep your head above water long enough to really figure out where you are or where you might need to go. So what you really need to do, Satch, is just allow the tides to recede. Allow the cycle of the moon and the emotions and all that stuff to just play out. Then you can move forward, okay? All right, getting into the second half of your reading here, Satch, first set of surrounding energies for you, you got strength. Yes, Leo energy. But this is fortifying you, Satch. And I'm going to be completely honest. There are some of you out there that I, I can tell you're really, you're really going through it. Like to the point where this is nothing, you've never really either experienced something this emotionally charged before or you've never allowed yourself to experience this before. And in all honesty, that's only kind of made it worse. The fact that you just kept pushing it away and pushing it away and sweeping it under the rug. I'll deal with it later. I'll deal with it later. I'll medicate it away. I'll, I'll, I'll you know, uh, just, you know, pop an antidepressants like it's candy or some shit like that. It only made it worse in the long run because now it's at the point where you can't use those methods any longer. They don't do shit to help you. 
So now what do you have to do? You've got to face it. But it's okay, Sag, because you have the strength, you have the fortification, you have the support in the universe to get this done, to get what you need to do done, to face what you need to face, to get through this. And on top of that, it is only going to make you stronger. I know that's right. Strength is coupled with judgment. You really can't hide from this any longer, Sag. You gotta face the music. But check it out though, because this isn't just like justice where, you know, the, the scales are balanced and karma is, is um, dished out. No. In judgment, yes, the scales are balanced, but you are cleansed of this. You are redeemed. You are refreshed. You are resurrected. There is a sense of grace, of forgiveness, that comes with judgment. So please don't be afraid of this. Yes, Sag, yes, you have to face the music. You have to. There is no avoiding this any longer. But once you do, redemption is on the other side. Absolution, absolution is that it? A being absolved. But you gotta face the music. You gotta face the, 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 the nightmares in your head. You gotta, look, you gotta look them in the eye or see them for what they are and say, I am no longer afraid of you. You, you shall not pass. Let me just go ahead and call you Gandalf. Right? Okay. Second set of surrounding energies in the second half of your reading here, Sag, you have the Four of Pentacles. Good Lord, you've been harboring this, haven't you? I mean, hoarder energy out the wazoo. The thing about this is, this is energetic hoarding. It's like, no, because even though this, this shit has hurt you so much for so long, you just kept holding on to it. You didn't want to let it out for fear of what might happen. For fear of, ooh, oh God. For some of you, this was a situation in which maybe you dealt with some sort of abuse as a child and you were taught not to express that. I mean, a specific, a specific, a specific example that I'm getting is sexual abuse in terms of you either were shunned from speaking about it or you eventually developed a, um, a guardedness around it because maybe people didn't believe you. Oh, honey, I am so sorry. I almost want, like, I'm, I'm, I am close to tears right now. Four of Pentacles is coupled with the Queen of Wands. And yet, honey, did you put on a face? You kept pushing, Sag. Even though you had that pain inside, you were not going to let that get you down too much. Or at least you weren't going to let anybody see it get, see you get it. Uh, you weren't going to let anybody see it get you down. That's what I meant to say. Now, the other thing that the Four of Pentacles and the Queen of Wands is saying that once, this is you releasing this shit and becoming the confident badass you know you've always been. But in order to do that, you have to let go of whatever is hurting you, whatever is burdening you, okay? You have to. Otherwise, you really can't embody, you can't thrive as the Queen of Wands. You can't, because you will always have those ankle weights keeping you down. Okay? Your challenge in the second half of your reading here, the Five of Pentacles, Dealing with the feelings of lack of inadequacy. Dealing with the rejection. Being left out in the cold. Being lied to, deceived, betrayed. All for what? Money? Status? Possessions? 
You mean to tell me that you value your possessions over my life, says Sagittarius? I am literally about to cry. Five of Pentacles is coupled with the Page of Swords. Learning how to overcome this. Seeking your own value. Holy shit, Sag. I might need to take a break. Because <sighs> this is really heavy and it's really making me cry right now. You can't see it, but you could probably hear it in my voice. Um, learning how to come out of this. Holy shit. This is the third time this has happened to me. The first time I cried during a reading was when I was doing a reading for my best friend, one of my very dear friends, whom you guys know if you follow me on Instagram. Um, she's my friend, Natalie. We, I post pictures. She and I are always hanging out. But I was doing a reading for her, and it just was like, it was so overwhelming. It made me cry, <laughs> OK? And then recently, I did a personal reading for someone, and I was just channeling her energy. I wasn't even like sitting there with her. I was just channeling her energy, and it made me cry. And now you, Sag, are the third. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know if you want to like congratulate yourself for that <laughs> or like feel proud or something because you're making me cry. But I'm only crying. I, I'm not upset about that. I, I'm more sad. F I'm not I'm not even sad for you I, because there's no reason to be sad for you because you're coming out of this. So what I guess what I'm feeling is part of your purge. But with the Five of Pentacles and the Page of Swords, learning to find your worth without the external validation. You have to find your own worth and you have to embody that. That may be what this lesson has been for you all along. To not find your self-worth defined by others. Define it for yourself. No longer seeking acceptance outside of yourself. but finding it within, okay? Whew. Closing message or potential outcome here for you, Sag, you have. You found it. <laughs> the Ace of Swords. Holy shit, man. <laughs> I'm trying to keep it together, you guys, I promise. But you found it, and that's amazing. Oh, fuck. <laughs> the Ace of Swords. <sighs> the Ace of Swords is coupled with the Three of Swords. Mm. I, oh, God. It's like you're literally pulling those swords out of your heart yourself. But you found it. And you're cutting yourself free. <laughs> okay. Oh my God. This is literally the first time I have ever cried <laughs> in a general reading. Oh boy. All right, let's. Oh, let's get to your oracle message now. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> For my Sag is sun, moon, rising, and Venus. Oracle message for the month of August 2019. Oh, hold on. Before I do that, let me turn this over so you can see here. Okay. There you go. All right. Closing message, please, spirit, from a Sag Metasicals, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for the month, interesting, for the month of August, we have card number 28, which is a 10, which does boil down to a completion, collaborative dreaming. Huh. Okay, well, intuitively, I'm kind of piecing it together. Maybe this is a ancestral thing. Or you could be clearing out some shit from like ancestral karma, ancestral drama, whatnot, whatever. 
Because I feel like what this card is kind of saying, and I don't even really know what this card means. I, I, I barely come across it, so we're definitely going to read it. But already, I kind of feel like this has more to do with than just you. And I'm not trying to. I'm not trying to say it's not all about you, Sag. What I'm saying, <laughs> what I'm saying is, it's more than just you. You might be a central figure, or this might really be. Um, I mean, personally, for for you, it would be very central. But I feel like it has. It's more than that. And you may have either taken the brunt of it or you may have taken on the responsibility of trying to heal it on behalf of your family or your ancestors, okay? But let's see what the book says about it. Oh boy, this is a long one, so buckle, in, buckle up, kids. Okay. Oh, yep, look at that. Collaborative dreaming. Your heart is big enough to dream not only for yourself but for a new humanity. Imagine a world that is healed with respect, understanding, and with community that fosters life. Oh God, Eric, keep it together. <laughs> Even your dreams that relate to you alone will contribute positively to the greater good because this is the nature of your heart. Your heart naturally and intelligently cooperates in a grand scheme of loving creativity, working to heal the hearts of the world. The heart creates win-win situations that benefit the individual and the collective. You are being asked to honor your growth, your, I'm sorry, to honor your grow, growing desire to co-create with conscious, like-minded people. Your collaborative dreaming is a, is a heart-inspired win-win, bringing mutual enhancement to yourself and others. The heart wants to love and be loved. Working with others creatively is a way to allow the heart to grow. It is a chance for you to learn how to honor yourself and others and to find ways to live and let live. Simply by growing and strengthening your, your active trust in your heart's guidance. You are asked to bear the rough patches that can happen when we, you work creatively with others. Ideas might clash and there can be friction, particularly if you have different ways of working. Sometimes big dreams need more fire to ignite them into reality. More fire might require more friction along the creative path. It is not meant to be a permanent condition just an aspect of the creative process from which you can learn something useful, if you wish. Your guidance is to embrace any experiences or of friction or tension within yourself or as you work with another, with compassion, detachment, and tolerance. Creative endeavors, particularly involving groups, can bring, an unre can bring up unresolved issues about being valued, heard, or capable. They can also trigger disputes about taking responsibility or inflame insecurities about being cast into unfamiliar roles of leadership or of having to follow. This might happen for you, for others, or for all involved. The stronger the creative energy that flows, the more likely that triggering will take place. It is the nature of creative energy to move in all directions. It doesn't just want to grow one project. Everything that comes into contact with it will grow. That means that the art and the artists are in the process of creation. This can be smooth, but it, can also, but it is more likely to be rough sailing, at least at times. This is not a sign that something, quote, isn't working. Far from it. It is more usually a sign that growth is happening and you are feeling the growing pains. This oracle is, also, is guiding you to stay in your integrity, honor what you feel, and remember why you chose to open up to group endeavors in the first place, especially if the group involvement becomes complex or challenging. Call on unconditional love each day and evening. It only takes a moment to do. Quote, I call on unconditional love. Please help and guide me and this project. You are going through this experience, or will be in the near future, because you are part of a new creative learning program for humanity. This learning program is taking place at a spiritual level, and it requires highly individualistic and creative people to learn to work with each other without compromising who they are in order to reach a common creative goal. It is wonderful, important, and challenging creative and spiritual work. You need a strong sense of self to be able to engage in the process and not lose your voice during the journey. You need a strong enough sense of self to be flexible and know when to bend rather than break. You have to intuit what is going to be a good heart inspired sacrifice for the greater good and when you will need to stay true to your own voice for the greater good. 
Only the heart can guide you on these matters, and others may not always agree with your instincts and vice versa. This is part of the challenge of staying present so that the friction created can be channeled into creative energy rather than lost in emotional turmoil. Please remember that what really matters is that you hear your own voice. Others may or may not be able to receive it. When you hear your own voice, you will be able to connect with your heart's truths. You will know when it is right to remain in a group or when you need to withdraw in order to work with others who resonate at a more appropriate vibration and perhaps more in harmony with your own. Not every collaboration will be long term. Sometimes the learning will be short, sharp, and possibly even painful before it turns into the wisdom that is gained from experience. At other times, the journey will be more loving, supportive, and harmonious. This is neither better nor worse, just different. This oracle comes with particular guidance for you at this phase of your life path and creative journey. You are no longer to think of yourself as the lone wolf. Yes, you have your unique path to tread, but you now must have tasks to accomplish for your own growth and greater good that require more than a one man band. Let me say that again because I think I said it wrong. You, yes, you have your unique path to tread, but you now have tasks to accomplish for, for your own growth and the greater good that require more than a one-man band. You will still do your own work, of course. However, others are on the way to help you. There is only so much a single drop of water can do on, on its own, though it is precious. Together, those drops can become a wave and make a considerable impact on the world. You are a part of a wave of loving consciousness, and you are meant to be exploring collaborative dreams, healing relationships, and conscious communities. Some connections will be short-lived and perhaps involve some learning experiences that you are helpful of, never need, I'm sorry, hopeful, I'm sorry, let me say that again. Some connections will be short-lived and perhaps involve some learning experiences that you are hopeful of never needing to repeat. Others will be longer-term loves. Either way, you will emerge more of yourself and more in connection with the world that wants your ideas, presence, energy, and light. This oracle brings a message to those of you that are involved in a group and are struggling over whether to continue or to let it go and move on. You are asked to trust your heart and not to allow any group to become more powerful than the wisdom of your own heart. Always allow the sacred rebel within you to question authority. It is, I'm sorry, is it loving and wise authority or is it coming from a place of fear-based control? Look to your heart's wisdom to discern whether your involvement in a group is healthy or not. Sometimes a group can only receive so much of our energy before it is time to move on. Sometimes a group is not receiving us at all, but we feel that we are meant to be guiding hand in we meant to be a guiding hand in it for a period of time before our heart urges us to let go. Ask for guidance. Do the healing process below, blah, blah, blah. And trust in the feelings that become clear to you over time. You will know what to do and you must always trust your own voice above any other. So there you have it, Sag. Thank you so much for tuning in. I hope that was helpful for you. I'm sending you guys so, so, so much love. And I look forward to connecting with you again for the next reading in the month of September. Yeah? Take care. Bye.